Uh, tēnā tātou, uh, nā mihi o te otewa ki a koutou katoa, a koji Mr. Tokuewa. Kia ora everyone and uh, welcome to this short explanation video on the theme for this year's Digi Awards. Nicole, no mai, hara mai, ki tēnei uh, kiriata iti mō tēnei uh, hōtaka kaupapa o te Digi Awards. And so I invited Nicole along to have a chat with, um, with us this afternoon because she's an expert in, in things te reo. And um, this year's theme for our Digi Awards is Ahako He Iti He Pounamu, which is quite a well-known known whakatauki uh, proverb from the te reo Māori language. And so you're really interested in um, having Nicole's thoughts to help us uh, shape how we might interpret this whakatauki for the awards. So, Nicole, ahako he iti he pounamu. I know you're well um, versed in this whakatauki in the sense that um, it's been around for a wee while now. But what are, what are your thoughts on it and perhaps how could it be interpreted or used by schools and learners to shape um, an entry for the Digi Awards? Um, so, yeah. Uh, ahako he iti, although it's small, he pounamu. So pounamu is a really uh, precious commodity to, to Māori in days gone by. Um, it um, Because it's it's really hard, it was used for um, tools to, to fashion different different things from big whare to, to waka. Um, and because it's beautiful, it's also used as an adornment, um, different types of adornment. So anything that is compared to Pounamu is something that's really precious. To me, the crux of this whakatauki is about contribution. And it's saying that every con contribution, uh, large or small, and in this case, a, um, a small con contribution is really appreciated. There's lots and lots of ways that you can use this. Um, it's not sort of, um, just for, for one or two things. So for in a school setting, for example, if you've gotten your lunch and someone shares uh, their lunch with you, um, you can say, um, or, or, or the person offering can say, aha koa he etsi he pounamu. So although it is small, um, here it is. And um, that contribution will be appreciated. Um, another way that you might want to use it is if your, your friend, um, colleague or classmate is stuck on something or, or working through a problem and you help them out, they might say um, also ahako he etsi he pounamu, so what you've done for me is really appreciated. Um, it can also uh, have sort of um, be about a, co a contribution to collection, so you might be collecting money for um, a, a gift or a poha or some sort of um, event that's happening and you might really want to have give twenty dollars to it but you only have two dollars on you um so but, and you can use it for that so ahakoa he iti he he pounamu so any small act of kindness um, or contribution um, means a lot more than you realize do you think it also has links to like an English saying about as the small things that matter as well? Like, can we interpret it that way? Yeah, absolutely. There's there's so many links to um, from Fakatoki Māori to, to sayings that we have in, in the English English language. Yeah. So I think there's lots of ways that um, that learners and and schools could interpret this for, in regards to what they put forward for Digi Awards, and we're really looking forward to seeing how people do interpret it, and how people show us that aha ko he iti he number. So even though what they put forward for Digi Awards, it may look like a small thing, but if it comes from the heart and and it's something they've put a lot of effort into, it's a real treasure for us to, to uh, use this year and enjoy for the years to come. So we're really looking forward to your um, applications, your um, projects that you put forward and, um, and seeing the interpretation of this theme for 2020.